Uh, let's see. And the Shoemakers, uh, Taylor, I have no business there anymore. The Creepy uh, uh, Toy Maker, and Thou. It's you again, is it? We still don't have any shoes for sale. Okay, what? Well, hang on. Here. Take mine. God. What have we here? I'm such a philanthropist. Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. Ah, oh, Geppetto finally speaks up, does he? These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. Warm and yielding the to the touch. These shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Bullshit. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a god, says young man. Uh, How can we ever repay you? This is kind of... You don't this need to repay altruistic me. goodness just knowing just I makes, me, you is enough makes me, for me sick. I can't stand it. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Now, your, uh, you your goodwill and good nature, uh, Mr. Should Shoemaker, is completely return. dependent on your ability to sell these shoes thank for as much you. as you think you can get off of them. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. I Take care, young man. I could have bought a hammer for we'll a couple of coppers, forget. and I gotta give away my solid gold buckled That's shoes. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. <laughs> You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Oh, Mama. Oh. All right, well, they're happy, I guess, and now I've ruined another business. We're on a roll, so now this town has even less going for it. Now it only has two operating shops instead of its original three. Dude, King Swayze is just ruining this entire state's economy. Alright, so the last thing really that I can think to do with my current inventory is go up and see the emo willow tree and give her her heart back. Uh, which I believe is this direction? Yes, here we go. Now, I wonder... What the hell? Oh, that's the beeswax. <laughs> so it's a rather unpleasant, shapeless mass of thingamabob in my backpack. Alright, so let's uh, go cheer up the emo tree before she slits her wrist and does harm to others. This must be yours. My heart, you found it! Two, with little Miss Grabby. I don't need this old thing anymore. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a princess again. Herbert! Alicia. Uh, a welcome, your welcome would be nice. Just saved you from an eternity of damnation as a tree. King Graham over here. Where have you been all this time, my love? Um, oh, darling. Hero. Just take me home. Standing I'll in the water. You the way. You're welcome, you ungrateful bitch! Unbelievable. Cedric, did you see that, my man? She just went up and left me without a buy your leave. Now, why would she toss aside this beautiful heart? Because she's a cunt. Well, she doesn't want it. I'll take it. That was... Oh, that was cold. That was cold. That was cold. Okay, uh, we're back. Let's, uh... Come on, Graham. Let's go someplace else. You see, look, I just turned the game off for a while. I came back to this a few days later, and already Cedric is getting on my nerves. So, all right, so if memory serves, let's... Where'd the gypsies go? Okay. Well, anyway, um... All right, I guess once you talk to the gypsies, they disappear. They are gypsies after all. All right, so just to recap, I have a key, um, for which I forget... Oh, yeah, the key to the tree heart thing. I have a pie for no reason. I have a heart from the bitch of a tree. An empty bag. The pouch think. is empty. <gasps> the pouch is empty! The pouch is empty. Oh, my God! Okay, anyway, I have a small spinning wheel, uh, which seems useless. A hunk of something... Graham carries a softened lump of beeswax. Beeswax, okay. I have a small cobbler's hammer, a cloak, uh, and uh, the amulet that stopped me from getting frogified, and a wand which still... Refuses to work. There's something on the ground. We will check it out. 
Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. All right. I have now rescued a tambourine. Uh, that way is desert. All right. I have no idea what I need to do. So we will just continue to meander until something interesting happens. Uh, okay. Well, let me check a look at my inventory and see what I have to work with here. Can I play it? No, I can't play it. All right. Um... Ah, damn it. You see, this is what happens when I walk away from a game for a couple of days. I forget entirely what I'm doing or what I need to do. Um, gnomes. We have gnomes. Um, what would a gnome want? Because I have a feeling I'm going to need this marionette, and I'll give that to the toy shop owner. For maybe, oh, maybe he'll give that sled. That's, that's right. I... I can't remember why, but I need this sled, so he doesn't want... Huh. This appears to be a small, intricately constructed spinning wheel. Uh, okay, alright. It's small, gnome-sized. <gasps> Maybe? Yay! I got the ding sound! Where did you get this? I thought I'd Woo! it. Oh, is it yours? Uh, I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. The old hag took it, eh? He's doing the you ventriloquist know, thing again. It's an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not. What's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold, that's what. I should I should have kept it. Give it back, you fucking it. gnome. I'm off to find myself a pile of straw. Screw this game. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Now wait, not so fast. Pay me. How about that marionette? Pay me. Don't you think the price Pay of my the hands. spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah, I guess so. Sure, take but candy right out of my baby's mouth, why don't ya? I'll make you a new one. Come on, boy. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. You know, if he had something that was capable of weaving straw into gold, why would they live in such meager surroundings? You figure with an unlimited supply of gold, he would... Oh, uh, never mind. I'm trying to inject logic into a fantasy game, and it's just stupid. All right, so I now have a marionette, which I am fairly certain goes to the toy maker. Is superb. Wow. Just one more time, just because it makes me laugh. The pouch is empty. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is that funny? All right, all right. So, Graham, you're gonna, there you go. Um, all right, so we still need us to get rid of Mr. Snakehead over there. See, I'm wondering what I'm collecting now is actually necessary for my moving forward. So I don't have anything in my inventory that's going to get rid of a snake, do I? I mean, I could bash its fucking head in. Or... Maybe lull it to sleep or throw a pie at it, kind of, you know, Three Stooges style. Uh, no, this is a toy shop here, okay. Alright, so Hi. now we can. Shut up! Now we can I'm relinquish going to count the. Up the cash receipt from yesterday, okay? Shut up! That's a good idea, son! That's a good idea, son! Alright, so I'm gonna give them the marionette before they start talking again because these guys annoy me to know him. Yeah. No! Darling. Darling. Girl, like shut up! up. Like her. Now, Katrina. <laughs> okay. Hey, I can skip it. Thank God. Continues finger banging the puppet. Here's a new puppet for you to molest. The craftsmanship is excellent. Instant death, freedom. Instant death, freedom. Keep it on, you Slytherin varmint. 